<gasps> oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. Okay. What's up you guys and welcome back to my Chanel. Today we are getting as close to Chanel as I've ever gotten on this channel. Today I'm going to be on... That's not the vibe. Stop! Like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, today we are going to be unboxing and trying on Fendi X Skims. I am so excited for this video. These packages came in last Thursday. It is now Wednesday, so for almost a full week. These bad boys have been sitting at my entryway. Hold on, I gotta hide my apartment number. My building likes to mark up the entire box with my apartment number. But I have two boxes here that have been sitting at my front entryway, taunting me for almost a week, but today we're gonna open everything and try everything on and I will give you my full review on the collection. For those of you who don't know, Skims came out with a collab with Fendi or Fendi came out with a collab with, I don't know. The entire collab had its own website so it's really hard to tell. This collection first dropped in November and unfortunately I didn't get my hands on anything because I completely forgot about the launch. That's not entirely true. I got an email with the prices of the clothing and when I saw 2000, 3000, 4000, I was like, uh uh, I guess I'm gonna have to pass on this one. But what I didn't realize is that there were kind of two different price points in the shop. There was the more Fendi price points and the more Skims price points. So I thought that I just wasn't gonna be able to afford anything. And then I was disappointed when I realized that they dropped a bunch of bodysuits, underwear, things that I can actually afford, and I thought I missed out on it. But Kim announced that there would be a second drop a few weeks ago. I don't remember the exact date. And it was a limited edition drop. This would be the final Fendi X Skims drop. So I set my alarm clock and sat at my computer for the drop and it was quite the process. Now this video is not sponsored by Fendi or Skims, clearly who am I to be sponsored by them? I bought everything with my own money and this is not sponsored by ShopPay. But to be honest with you, in order to get your hands on those top pieces that everybody wanted, you needed ShopPay to pay in one click because unless you added everything in your cart in 15 seconds and clicked ShopPay, things were selling out. So I was adding things to my cart, going to check out, then something would be sold out by the time that I checked out. I would have to go back to the beginning of checkout, put in all my info again, and do the whole thing over and over again. It was such a hassle. So now I know moving forward with any drops like this, I need to have my shop pay set up. Again, not sponsored, but unless you had shop pay, things were selling out quicker than you could check out. For the few days leading up to the launch, I really narrowed down what I wanted and the colorways and sizes that I wanted so I could just add everything to my cart really quickly. But even still, things were selling out by the time that I checked out. And when pieces sold out, it wouldn't let you check out right from there and just get the pieces that were in your cart. You had to go all the way back to the beginning of checkout, which is why having shop pay was like, if you didn't have shop pay, you, you failed for this launch. I will say that I am excited to open these boxes but I'm also very nervous not a lot of people did videos on the sizing and it's like girls come on if you're gonna do a try on haul you have to include sizes there's no point in doing a try on haul unless you talk about sizes so I will talk about the sizing of each of these products and even though Kim announced that this would be the final Fendi X Skims drop I'm sure she's gonna be doing collabs in the future with other brands because this one was so successful so I will let you know if it's worth it. Okay, so without further ado, oh my god, I cannot believe I'm finally opening this. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't be trusted with a box cutter. Ah! The purple paper! I know a lot of people were disappointed in the first drop because they were promised a Fendi bag, like a Fendi shopping bag, and they didn't get it. Okay, so for my first order, because I made two orders, there was only one item in my second order. We'll get to that one. I got four things. It doesn't say how much I spent, but I think it was a little over 16, not 1600, wow, $600. So this is what the wrapping looks like. Oops, damn it. These are the boxes. Let me do my little. Okay, so the first thing I got is the high neck bodysuit in the color black. 
I really do like these boxes. These boxes are so, so pretty. Let's see what we got. Ah, I cannot believe I have this in my hands. Finally, I've been waiting for this moment. I just want to sniff it, but I don't want to get my makeup all over it. This is what it looks like. It's just this high neck black basic bodysuit with the Fendi and Skims logos suddenly printed all over it with a thong cut bottom. Honestly, I thought that the logo would be embossed, like raised a little bit on the bodysuits, but it's literally just a print. Did I just spit on you guys? Ew, how disgusting of me. It's literally just a print. There's no texture to it. So I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like for the price of this bodysuit, and I don't even know how much this bodysuit was. This bodysuit was $130. Don't come for me, Kim. I know how you Kardashians like to tussle. But for $130, I was just expecting a little bit more umph. But anyway, let's go try this on in the mirror and see if the hype is real and if this is really worth 130 big ones please hold okay so this is what we're working with again this is the size small for the girlies who are skipping through the video and i'm not even gonna hold you i am so out of breath right now from putting this on and it's not because it's too small the fit is amazing i love it it's smooth it's seamless just like i wanted however this neck portion is really tight for my big old head so it took off my forehead makeup clean messed up my hair but that's fine that's why i wear it in a claw clip for these types of videos but other than the fact that I need to put this on before I do my hair and my makeup, I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it so much. Like I said, it fits me perfectly. Not only is this the perfect fit, it honestly feels like shapewear. It is sucking me in where I need to be sucked in and it feels like I lost 10 pounds with this on. I just love how classic this looks. Again, I love that the logo isn't too like in your face. So I can get a lot of wears out of this. And trust me, for $130, you better believe I will. And if you see me wearing this multiple times, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> that's what washing machines are for but i am so so obsessed with this oh my god i just can't this looks so good kim you did that that was definitely a workout but so worth it so far so good cannot wait to wear this i'm actually going to boston in a few days so this is definitely coming with me and probably everything else that i'm showing you is <laughs> too because I have a feeling I'm going to love everything. Oh, I'm opening it and I didn't even tell you what it is. Okay, so the next thing I got is the mock neck long sleeve bodysuit in a size small in the color Colorado. Now, this is another thing that I knew that I wanted. I don't know if I made this clear, but this was definitely on my list. Now, I don't know why nobody liked Colorado and the red one. What was the red one called? Um, Georgia. Nobody gravitated towards these. These were the last to sell out. And by the last to sell out, I mean the black and tan colorways sold out within two minutes. After I placed both of my orders, took a shower, got ready. These colorways were still in stock, Georgia and Colorado. So I'm like, what? I just, this, and what's funny is this colorway and this cutout of bodysuit was on my list. Like I ran to it thinking it would be sold out and it wasn't. I just think it's so beautiful. It's such a pretty fuchsia color. Again, I got this bodysuit in a size small, but I will say that one thing I'm noticing about this bodysuit compared to this one is that the Fendi logo is much larger. I don't know why that is. Yeah, it's like a, is it? Or am I, no, it is bigger. Or am I tripping? This is basically this bodysuit, but just with long sleeves. And I'm excited to try this on. So let's go do that. Girl, I'm going to have no makeup on my face by the end of this. This bodysuit was even harder to put on than the black one. But this is what we're working with. I am obsessed. I love everything about this from the color. I feel like I had to get this color because this was like the color of the entire campaign. So I'm really, really surprised that nobody wanted it because this is a look. I love this even better than the black. I feel like it accentuates my waist. I love the Fendi Skims logo all over it. This is a moment. This is it. This is it. And I'm not even wearing a bra. This just gives so much support that... I don't have to wear anything underneath because the girls are just going to stay sitting. They're not going to move. I just cannot 
deal. I am so obsessed. Now, I wish I got this in other cuts because this this color is everything. I got so excited to try this bodysuit on. I didn't even tell you guys the price. So the price of the mock neck long sleeve bodysuit was $175. Zolas. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this was worth it as well because not only are you getting a bodysuit, this is acting as shapewear as well and it has the Fendi logo on it. So I'm totally understanding the prices now. Sorry, Kimberly. Snaps to you, Kim. Last for the bodysuits, and I don't even know why this is considered a bodysuit because it's not, it's a, it's a romper. So, Anyway, this is the sleeveless mid-thigh bodysuit in Georgia. This retails for $190, and I got this in a size medium. And that is because anything that covers my butt, I need in a size medium. I have 42-inch hips. I will put all of my measurements down below for anybody who's wondering. But for these bodysuits with a thong cut, I can get away with a small because I normally wear small tops. But anything that touches my lower half, like my hips and my booty, I need to get in a medium. I love this color. Again, this is the color that I wanted to get in the romper. Nobody was touching this color. Again, one of the last pieces to sell out. But I specifically wanted this color in this romper because I wanted the long sleeve jumpsuit so bad in that tan color. And that was one of the items that sold out. So then I tried to go back and get this romper in the tan color because I wanted the tan color in something. Like I wanted that tan color and then it was sold out. So then I just went back to my original plan of action, which was to get this romper in this. This isn't even really a red. It's more of like an orange, like a fiery orange color. And I got this shade because I saw a girl on Instagram and I don't know her handle. I wish I did, but when I was like trying to figure out my sizes and what color I wanted and things, she wore this romper with red heels and a red bag, and she looked so, so, so good. Again, this is made out of the same material. It has that same Fendi and Skims print all over it, but the only difference is I got this in a medium, so let's see how the medium romper fits on your girl. I am disappointed in this one. So this one is in a size medium. It fits me on top. I have a little bit of bunching at the waist, but it's not crazy. One thing I do like about this romper is that it zips up in the back. And now I wish that the other two bodysuits had that zip up feature at least halfway to be able to fit my head through <laughs> without struggling with the devil. But when I step back, um... My legs are giving very much can of biscuits. They're giving Pillsbury Doughboy. You can kind of see where the romper is just cutting into my thighs. And again, this is in a medium. And the other bodysuits I got fit perfectly and they were a small. So I don't know how I feel about this. Like you could literally see it right here. Like just like my legs are just like busting <laughs> this romper out at the seams. So I don't know how I, how I feel. Maybe I can get this tailored somehow i don't know now this one i could show you the back because my cheeks aren't out but i just don't like what this is doing to my thighs it's giving me cellulite that i didn't have before <laughs> what's going on what's going on i might have to i might have to sell this one i don't know what do you guys think see like this is why i didn't want a size medium bodysuit because it just does this this weird rolling thing Oh man, but the color is so pretty. I'm gonna see if I could fix it somehow. Or maybe, I don't know if, if this is fixable. Or maybe I just need to stretch it out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I sell it, keep it? What should I do? Like even when I move, you could see like the, ooh, I don't like that. Now I'm like extra happy with my choice to get size smalls in the other bodysuits, but. Oh well, you can't win them all. How much was this bodysuit? How much did I pay for this disappointment? Hold on. Okay, so this bodysuit was $190. And this was the most expensive thing I got because the long sleeve jumpsuit that they call a bodysuit. I don't know why they call it a bodysuit. It's a jumpsuit. This is a romper. The long sleeve version with the pants is a jumpsuit. I don't know how hard that is to get right. That was over $300. So I really wish I got that one instead. <laughs> But it sold out while it was in my cart or while I was checking out actually. So I don't know. 
I might resell this. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna talk to my tailor about it and see if I can get it fixed somehow. And then the last thing I got, oh, my voice just did. <laughs> it sounded like I'm in puberty. I just got. The last thing I got from this package is the Scoop Net Bralette two pack. And did I say two pack or two pack? Two pack in California and black. So the California colorway was the colorway that sold out first and everything, but I thought that maybe I can make a cute outfit from oops, these bralettes. So this is what they look like. I love this color. I, this is the color I wanted in the long sleeve jumpsuit that sold out first. I'm so disappointed, but this is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna show you the other, my other order too because it kind of goes with this this was an afterthought i wasn't gonna get this but then i was like maybe i could wear it as a swimsuit she actually didn't restock any of her swimsuits for the second launch i honestly feel like the second launch was kind of like an afterthought of whatever they had left over or what was sent back in returns i don't know call me crazy but i just feel like the things that they restocked i don't know why they didn't restock the entire collection like i would have loved to get one of the bikinis but i missed out so i'm thinking i could make a bathing suit out of these and this is what they look like i was also thinking sorry i'm so nasally so i'm still getting over being sick but i was also thinking i could wear these with like really baggy sweats and then this as the top and it'll be like a look or like really baggy like boyfriend or mom jeans and then have like the underwear kind of peeking through I don't know that was my vision but now that I'm feeling it I'm gonna wear these as swimsuits like this is giving very much if I didn't know that this was a bra and panties I would think that this was a bathing suit just by the material so let's try these on let me give you the prices first I got these in a size medium by the way so the scoop neck bralette scoop neck scoop scoop de -dee -boop, scoop bralette pack was $135 for two bras <laughs> didn't realize that I did that whatever um okay let me find the other one and the high leg bikini pack in a size medium for the two pack is $100 so let's try these on and I hope these fit and don't give me pancake booty because I did not realize the backs look like that Please pray for me. Nah, this is a bathing suit. <laughs> the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. This was a steal if you think about it. So for two bras and two panties, you paid less than the price of one of the Fendi Skims bikinis. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this, this is a vibe. I'm definitely wearing this as a bikini this summer. Again, I got both the top and the bottoms in a size medium. And let me try on the black colorway. Nah, these are straight up bikinis and nobody could tell me otherwise. I am wearing these as full on bathing suits. Hello. How cute is this? How cute. Again, I had to adjust the straps a little bit because it was punching in the front and it kind of still is, which is a little bit annoying. I probably could have gone away with a small, which is crazy because I have like 34D boobs, but this, this is it. This is it. This is probably my favorite thing I got because it's so versatile. You can wear it as underwear, you can wear it as a crop top, or you can wear it as a bikini. That's kind of crazy because this was like an afterthought. This was an afterthought purchase for me. I had no plans to get this, and this wound up being my favorite thing. Okay, we are finally at the end. Not finally, I wish I got more things. I really wish I had that long sleeve jumpsuit that would have made me so, so happy. But unfortunately, we reached the end of this video. My final verdict is yes, this collab was definitely worth the prices of the pieces I got. Minus the romper. The romper I'm pretty disappointed in. I just thought that the legs would have a little bit more give, so Kimberlina, let's make it happen for the next collab, but I will definitely be shopping her future collabs, and I hope she comes out with more because this was chef's kiss. But that is all I have for you guys for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.